Now the question here, how can, how can we take advantage of our course to solve any differential equation? Um, in this example here, which we see in the first equation here, uh, this is a first order equation. Okay, in the second example, it's a third order differential equation. So regardless of the order of the equation, we can solve it by following the following steps. So I do recommend all the time put the highest order to one side and the, the remaining parts to the right hand side. Okay, for example, in this case. Or in the second example, here we have third order differential equation. We put the highest order, which is y three primes, and the rest will be here. So here we have the gain equals one over four. For the second term, the gain equals five over four, which is more than one. While in the first one, it was in the first gain it was less than one. In the third case, the gain equals a negative seven over four. Good. So don't forget here we have this positive or this plus and this plus that means here we have what here a summer okay good which adds the th the, the three terms one two three good now this is a summary for all the circuits that we took in this chapter the first circuit here represents the integrator where the capacitor and the feedback and are in the input path. In the second circuit, we have here a differentiator. The third circuit here has a gain of negative and that negative could be less than one or more than one. This circuit here all the time has a gain of positive and this gain all the time greater than one. So if the gain is more than one, and positive, we prefer to use this circuit. If the gain is negative, regardless whether the gain is greater than one or less than one, we can use the second circuit. Um, now for this circuit, this is very important circuit. Okay, please use the same uh, order of the resistors, R1, R2, R3, and R4. If we keep R4 over R3 equals R2 over R1, okay, in this case, V output can be written as R4 over R3 times V2 minus V1. So what can we conclude here? Um, if, v, if, we, if we put V1, 0. If you put it 0, then v output will be r4 over r3 times what here v2 good now if the gain is positive in our equation we can put easily v1 to be zero and then we can play with the gain if the gain is more than one then we put r4 more than r3 if the gain less than one then we put r4 less than r3 okay now we can take advantage of this circuit again one more time if we put V2 to be 0. When V2 is 0, then here we have negative R4 over R3 times V1. Then we can replace the first equation by this circuit, okay? Good. What about this circuit? Here we have more than one input. Okay, this is a summer circuit. This is RF, the feedback resistance. This is RS, the series resistance. And here we have V1, V2. Actually, we can have R3 or any R here and V3, any R, then V4. Uh, if you write V output using the formula, which is here, you can apply it one more time here times VI, where VI is the voltage here, and this voltage um, all the time will be using the voltage division rule. That means 
when v2 is 0, I mean, we are taking only v1. In this case, it, r3 will be in parallel with r1 over r3 parallel r, uh, with r1 over r2. When we take only v2, that means, I mean, here we, uh, we use only voltage division rule, which means here, look, when v2 is 0, okay, that means this is grounded. You take r2 parallel with r3. When v1 is 0, then r1 will be, be parallel with r3. So this is what I did here in this equation, which is not that difficult. Now, if we multiply this term by R1 and divide by R1, it will be R1, R3, sorry, R3 parallel with R2, parallel with what? With R1. And here, if you multiply by R2 and we divide by R2, it will be R3 parallel with R1, parallel with R2. So we can take as uh, this term as a common factor, and it will be V1 over R1 plus V2 over R2 times the parallel. Okay? Now, if you have more than two inputs, it will be very simple all the time. This is fixed, and here you will be saying R1 parallel with R2 parallel with R3 parallel with and a resistance that you have here times V1 over R1 plus V2 over R2 plus V3 over the corresponding resistance plus V4 over the, the resistance of that input, okay? So this is a revision for all the circuits that we got. Now we have this example for V output W prime minus 3 of V output prime plus v 5 V output equals 7 v, uh, v input prime minus 2 V input. Design an electronic circuit, I mean here op-amp circuit, to implement the above mentioned function. We agreed on all the time, we put the highest order in one side and the remaining parts on the other side. So this part represents the output side, and this part represents the input side. Okay, so here we put v output w prime okay now how many integrators do we need to end up with v output we need two integrators this is the first integrator okay and this is the second integrator good so if we have here v output w prime then here we having v output prime and here we have v output good now read the equation v output w prime equals three over four times v output prime so we take here this path and we multiply it by again of how much 3 over 4 good then it says plus minus 5 over 4 that means here we take a path from v output and we multiply this v output by again which is how much right now minus 5 over 4 so we can design this gain which is 3 over 4 and we can design this gain minus 5 over 4, like what we talked in those circuits. Good. So we, we are done with this part. Now what about the input side? This is the input side. Good. Now it says V output W prime will be plus 7 over 4 V input prime minus half V input. Now how many differentiators do we need here? So as we see here, we need only one differentiator. That means if this is V input, it will be differentiated just one, one time here. And we multiply it by 7 over 4. That means here we have this gain, 7 over 4, times V input, what? Prime. Okay, plus minus 1 over 2. That means we take a path from V input itself, and we multiply it by a gain of how much minus half so this is the again which means that v output w prime will be 3 over 4 v output prime right plus minus 5 over 4 v output plus 7 over 4 v input prime minus 1 over 2 v input okay now the question how can we design each integrator and each gain mentioned in this circuit. Now, an integrator 
can be built by having R here and a capacitor here. Okay. Now, how can we get rid of the negative sign? Because we need V output prime equals the integration of V output W prime. This is why we need to implement one more uh, integrate. Uh, sorry, one more uh, gain which has negative one here. Y will be the integration of x. So if this is y. So if this is y, this would be right now our x. Now how can we <coughs> have y equals integration of x? If we assume r to be 1 kilo ohm, then c, c should be 1 millifarad. Why is that? Because here we, we like to have just 1 over 1. If r is 1k, then c 1, will, one milli, milli with k will be cancelled, then we'll be in the ending up with negative in the integration. Now, how can we get rid of that negative integration by having a negative or an inverting of and that has a gain of negative one? So we end up with y is the integration of x. So this is the design of this integrator and as with the second integrator. Okay. Now what will be the design of the differentiator? In the in the differentiator part we have C in the input path and R in the output path okay so here if you find the voltage here it will be minus rc okay the integration uh, sorry the differentiation of w how to get rid of that negative we build another inverting of amp that has a gain of negative one here z will be w prime okay that means if this is w here okay here it will be z where z will be w prime or it would be v input prime so, so this is the design of the differentiator now what do we need here if you go back to the to the circuit as you see my students here we should build the circuit of this gain of this gain of that gain and of this gain again and don't forget this summer, okay? This is the summer. It, how many inputs does it have? One, two, three, four, and this is the output of the summer. Look here, one, two, three, four, and this is the output of the summer, okay? Good. So this is why here we have four inputs for this summer, okay? And how can we write the output of that summer? X will be 1 plus R if over R, R is, this is fixed, times the parallel of all input resistances, R1, parallel with R2, parallel with R3, parallel with R4, and don't forget parallel with Rx, times what? V1 over R1, plus V2 over R2, plus V3 over R3, plus V4 over R4, okay? Now, as you see, we need to add this voltage, plus this voltage, plus this voltage, plus this voltage, okay? Which means it will be V1 over one, plus V2. I mean here, we should make R1, R2, R3, R4, one, 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 one. Now, if I put them, or if you put them here, one K, one K, one K, one kilo ohm, the, the whole term here should be how much? Can you tell me how much? If, the, if everyone here, or every resistance has one kilo ohm, this term has to be how much or the whole term should be one kilo ohm, right? If we assume such that one K will be cancelled with one kilo ohm, which is for each resistor here. Now, assuming R1 equals R2 equals R3 equals R4, one kilo ohm, the whole term here will be one kilo ohm. This is why when the whole term here equals one kilo ohm, okay, which we see here, 1,000. Now, R1 equals R2 equals R3 equals R4. What will be the parallel of all? It will be 1K over 4. So this is why I put it here as 1,000 over 4. Parallel with, X, with, with Rx times this term should be 1,000. Okay, now if you assume Rx to be R or 1K over 4, so you can assume it whatever you like. We are interested to have this product to be 1,000. You can assume whatever you like again. 
Now, assuming Rx to be 1,000 over 4, just to make the calculations easy for us. Now, 1,000 over 4 parallel with 1,000 over 4, it will be how much? 1,000 over 8, right? Now, this 1,000 over 8 times 1 plus Rs, uh, uh, sorry, Rf over Rs should be 1,000. So, 1,000 over 8 will be 125, okay? Which means that 1 plus <coughs> Rf over Rs should be 1,000 over 125. We can conclude that Rf should be 7 times Rs. Assuming Rs 1K, then Rf will be 7 kilo ohm. So you can go back again here. We put Rf 7 kilo ohm, Rs uh, 1 kilo ohm. Okay, what else? Rx here, 250 ohm. And here 1K, 1K, 1 kilo ohm, and here 1 kilo ohm as well. So, so far, we designed the integrator the differentiator and the the summer okay now what else right now we need we need here to design all the gains or the remaining gains starting by this gain here we have 7 over 4 so it's positive right which means we have here non inverting of m 1 plus r2 over r1 times x we need here to have 7 over 4, which means, and you can write here, 4 over 4 plus R2 over R1 should be 7 over 4, which means R2 over R1 should be 3 over 4, right? So assuming R1, 4 kilo ohm, then R2 will be 3 kilo ohm. Or assuming R1, uh, 1 kilo ohm, then R2 should be... 0.75 kilo ohm, which is 750 ohm. Now, regarding the gain negative one, negative half, sorry. Here we we use inverting of m, where the gain should be one over two. If you put here one kilo ohm, then r if r two is one kilo ohm, then r one should be two kilo ohm. Now, regarding the gain three over four. 3 over 4 less than 1, so we can't use this, uh, this circuit directly. We can take advantage of, this, of the uh, summer circuit. If we put V1 to be 0, right? And if you go back again here, if you put V1 0, you end up with R4 over R3 times V2. Okay, sorry. R4 over R3 times V2, which is X in this case. And we need this gain to be 3 over 4. So if you assume R4 to be 3 kilo ohm, then you can say R3 is 4 kilo ohm. If the last gain, which is minus 5 over 4, it's negative. So you can make R2 to be 5 kilo ohm and R1 to be 4 kilo ohm. So all in all, just to summarize this example, uh, the design for this circuit or for this system you will plug in all those of amps for this integrator and for the same of amps for this integrator and the integrators for this gain for this gain and for this gain and for this gain and for the differentiator and for the summer as well in this case we can uh, solve this system which means if v input is given let us say v input equals um, uh, 3 sine uh, omega t then if you take this v output to a scope or a oscilloscope okay then you can measure v output whether regardless of v output okay my friends so this is how we can how we solve any differential equation using the topics that we talk in this chapter thank you so much